I asked on Twitter how hard it is to get a job as a machine learning engineer or as a data scientist without having a master's or a PhD. And 4,000 people voted and 57% of them said it is difficult. And not only in this poll, but I talk to many people every week that think the same. If you don't have a fancy degree, forget about getting a job. But is that real? Is that the reality that we're living in right now? How about we look at real data? Tens of thousands of job descriptions and their requirements. And on top of that, talk to real people. People doing the job right now without a fancy degree. I wanna show you that you can become a data scientist, a machine learning engineer, or an artificial intelligent professional without having a graduate degree. My name is Kirsten Lum. I am the chief product officer of a machine learning consultancy called Storytellers AI. And we are a bolt-on data science organization for mostly companies in the sub Fortune 500. I'm Mark Tenenholtz. I work at a, um, a forecasting startup, uh, previously worked at um, the largest uh, grocer in the US, which is Kroger, uh, where I really cut my teeth in data science. I do everything from building models to dashboards to presenting to stakeholders. The question here is not about getting an education. That's a must. Going to graduate school is a way to become competent at something. My argument here is against using degrees as a prerequisite to getting a job and becoming successful. Even if I don't necessarily believe that formal education is necessary, I do believe that education is necessary. And if you were to decide to move forward with your career and try and do so without any form of degree, then you do have to replace that somehow. Let's go back to Twitter where I posted another question. If you are a data scientist or a machine learning engineer and you don't have a graduate degree, reply below. More than 1 million people saw this and about 400 of them replied back with their stories. But one story in particular got everyone's attention. It was from Professor Jan Lekan, the chief AI scientist at Meta, and one of the most prominent voices in the industry right now. I did not know about this. Aditya Ramesh, the principal author of DALI at OpenAI, has no graduate degree. Think about that, an extremely successful and accomplished scientist for whom the lack of a fancy degree was not an impediment. Now, it's not fair to use this example to tell you, see, you can do it too, because Ramesh's story, it's an exception. There is a difference between a job at a company and a research position. The difference between the two is how much the focus is on the business need part of the spectrum versus how much of it is on the methods part of the spectrum. First and foremost, a graduate degree will train you to do research. So if that's your goal, then yes, graduate school is probably a must. If you're most excited about being on the absolute bleeding edge of ML or AI, if you're really excited about working in a famous research lab or being an academic, having a degree is pretty much necessary for that kind of success. But companies are different. They require different skills and a different mentality. Listen carefully to this. The biggest difference between engineers and researchers is researchers often start with an interesting problem and engineers often start with constraints. Working within real world constraints is probably the number one ability you need to build to be successful at a company. Unfortunately, that is not the goal of PhDs and master's programs. So unless you wanna focus on research, there won't necessarily be an edge to gain for many positions out there. There is this quote from Daniel Kahneman that I really like, which is, he said, the sum total of my research is that people replace hard questions with easy ones. And a really hard question is, is this person going to be able to do this role effectively? When faced with a difficult question, we often answer an easier way one instead. That's how Daniel's quote starts. And as Kirsten mentioned, this is part of what's happening right now. Companies use degrees to determine whether a candidate is competent in a specific set of skills. Remember, 
few companies outside of big tech were doing anything in the field uh, just a few years back. The history of applying machine learning is relatively new. If you're a company that wants to hire a team, who are you looking for? How do you interview somebody when you know nothing about artificial intelligence? How do you ask people for experience doing a job that didn't exist before? That's why so many companies ask for a degree. That's their way of replacing a difficult question with a simpler one. But this is changing. I don't think that they are necessary. And I do think that hopefully as the industry is evolving, that top companies will see it that way as well. Let's look at the data. Is it true that most companies require you to have a master's or a PhD to get a job? The results of my poll suggest that's the case, but can we look at real job openings? How can we take a snapshot of the job market right now? First idea, build a web scraper to collect the data I need. If you've done this before, you know there is a small problem with that. As soon as you start collecting a lot of data, the website will block your IP, so that's a no-go. Fortunately, I partnered with Bright Data, who made the problem disappear. They're sponsoring this video, so let me show you how it works. First, they have a massive proxy network, so you can scrape any website without having to worry about getting blocked. You could also choose from one of their pre-configured web scrapers or write your own using their web scraper IDE tool. For this project, I used their Indeed dataset. They have a huge list of popular curated datasets so you don't have to worry about collecting any of that data. Their Indeed data set has 10.3 million job openings, which is more than enough to determine what companies are looking for. Now, not every one of those 10 million positions is relevant. We only care about jobs looking for data scientists, machine learning engineers, data analysts, and things like that. So I filtered the data and ended up with about 26,000 relevant job posts. The next step was to remove any position requiring a master's degree or a PhD. Only 8,000 of them met that criteria, which is 30% of the posts. That means that about 70% of job openings in the United States do not ask for a graduate degree. That's massive. Plenty of opportunities for everyone. And you only need to focus on one thing. How do you get the skills to show these companies you can do the work? If you are going to be self-taught, nothing is going to teach you better than practical application. You need to learn how to make the mistakes, how to do data cleaning. I generally would recommend trying to solve your own problem from start to finish and do it in a way that you deem acceptable to yourself. My number one advice to people that are trying to transition into data science from another career, another industry is to start where they are. You've probably heard the advice like project-based work is by far the best way of getting into data science. So not just, you know, taking a course, but really thinking about, can I build a project end to end that produces something of value using these techniques? Make more stuff. That's it. If you go and talk to those who are doing the job right now, they will give you the same advice. The best way to learn is to practice. Data scientists don't need degrees. They need practice time.